Bree and the kids are gone, so I'm gonna get down and dirty and knock some jobs out today. Picking beans, prepping garden beds, and deworming the cows, plus some office hours. Using soap for deworming cows? I don't know about that. Alice the milk cow is thirsty because I let her water run dry. I wanted to um, do this monthly deworming with Shackley's or Shakley's Basic H soap. A lot of people use this. I don't entirely understand how uh, surfactants like soap can disrupt parasite life cycles, but a lot of people I really respect are doing this and they've been doing it for a long time. A cup and 100 gallons. So I'm just gonna use a bucket as a measuring cup and then put in a couple ounces of soap. Come on, cow. All right, I'm gonna get 25 gallons in here. So that's gonna be two ounces. So I'm gonna pour from the six ounce line to the four ounce line on this jar. All right, we got our soap in here. I'm not sure if I would wanna drink that soapy water. Anyway, and putting in a small amount when the when the trough is run dry, it kind of forces everyone to come and drink. Um, a lot of numbers I've seen say to do this for two days a month, have this water available. A nice big drink of soapy water first thing in the morning. Sounds, sounds like a good way to start the day, right? One of my goals today is to prep these three garden beds. So first, I'm gonna pull back the tarp that's been suppressing weeds and killing weed seeds. We'll add a generous layer of hay to renew our paths. And then next we'll add a helping of organic fertilizer just to help these beds out. Last, the secret ingredient, the compost that we've been making this summer. And we're gonna apply a nice thick layer to the top of the beds. We'll just mix it in with a pitchfork to the top inches of the bed. And these three beds will be just about ready, apart from some raking out to prep the seed bed. And we'll get some greens in here soon. Probably not today. Next, well, the lightning and thunder out here is really bad. I was hoping to pick beans soon. There's a bunch of beans out there that need to be picked to be frozen, but I don't want to be out in this thunder, so I'm gonna go inside. I've got some important emails I need to reply to and um, see if I can pick beans here in a little while. Hey guys, I can maybe use your help on this. We're going to the Baker Creek Seeds Heirloom Expo in California in a couple weeks. We're gonna be speaking on Wednesday and we're talking about gardening gone viral, how we've been able to inspire people to garden or garden more through our YouTube channel and just the irony of that. So if you wanna share a story about how our YouTube channel has impacted you or maybe something else on the theme, um, that I might use in the talk, shoot me an email. Our email address is in the description and just put Heirloom Expo in the subject bar. All right, thanks. Finally, I'm checking stuff off my list. And check, 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 adding three checks to my office work. I'm trying to work this into my day. I am so bad at answering emails, getting stuff done, making phone calls. I, they just build up and it's stressful. And so I'm trying to actually like have office hours. It's always been a goal. Today I was able to do it and just knock out the things that are, well, at least the, the top of the list. It is 3.30 though, and I actually have to go pick up the kids, but I have not picked a single bean. I'm hoping I'll be able to pick beans if they can either come to the garden and pick beans with me or if they can play happily, depending on how tired they are. Um, when I get them home. All right guys, sorry, a little close for comfort. I put a smudge on my lens. So I met Bree down here with the kids. She was going from a school activity, unfortunately to the doctor's office for one of our kids, continued breathing issues. Um, 
whether it it's a continuation of a chronic issue that may be caused by mold or whether it might have involved a uh, styrofoam cup piece being pulled from a nose I don't know I know it's I know it's some of both I know it's the chronic issue continuing wheezing and whatnot um, the styrofoam cup though didn't help um, so that's where she was now we're down here in this little town park um, in our little town and we're getting ready to head home really soon we just played in the park and went to a little uh, toy store and stuff while she was in there hey I was watching your garden video. My garden video? How is The well, cantaloupe I didn't get to eat. I'm so sorry. I think there's still a piece in the fridge. My mouth is like watering watching you cut that thing open. If It's been my life's dream to, to grow a melon and I did. What if there's no other melons? If this channel, if this channel and our, this partnership goes down, it would be because of the melon. <laughs> anyway. I had no idea what you were talking because about. Because you've been you've been looking forward to the melon forever. Years. Years, on, really. And then this these specific melons for weeks, yes. not months. Yes. Anyway. Oh wow. Oh well. I got a day out by myself, <laughs> and you didn't. That's right. She left. If you leave me, that's that's what I have to say. If you're gonna leave me with the kids, I'm gonna eat your melon. <laughs> Don't ever do it again. <laughs> You got you got to be alone all day today. I did. Yeah, I got a lot done too. I feel. Really? What'd you do? Well, I didn't pick any beans. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, but think of all the other stuff I got done. <laughs> I'm taking. We just got home. I'm taking this opportunity to inspect the roof of the shed. I've actually never been on it. It's super solid, but I'm just looking at the roof, the coating on here. Guys, here's a different perspective of her place. This video is over. It's been another great day in the homestead. And uh, we'll see you in a video coming up soon. Do you, you all want to say goodnight? Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.